Hello, I'm Mark. Welcome again to our weekly witnessing tip. As you can notice, Gina is not here today. No. Nope. <laughs> no, nope. nope. this is Tasha. Uh, she works for us. And since we want to talk about Father's Day, it is very fitting to have Tasha sitting here because she's also my daughter. Um, so we're going to be talking about Father's Day. But before we do that, just want to um, explain Tasha's role. One for many roles is doing social media. So tell us a little bit about what you do with social media, especially about this week's emphasis. Sure. So each week we have a theme that we go on um, and we have our separate truth and love side and then we have our direct witnessing to Mormon side called Be Perfect. And this week our theme is fathers. And so what we try to do is always tie these witnessing tips into the social media posts and so forth. Mm -hmm. So as you go on Facebook and Instagram and all those other places, you will usually find passages and so things that support the theme, right? Yep, absolutely. And that's going to happen this week again too? Yep, to this week we'll focus mainly on passages that talk about the role of fathers and bringing up their children in the faith. And then we're also talking about God as our Heavenly Father. Okay. Well, the tip this week, as we often do, is try to think about what people are naturally talking about. And of course, this week, this coming Sunday is Father's Day, so a lot of people are talking about Father's Day. And this is a really easy topic to use witnessing to Mormons also because their favorite term for God is Heavenly Father. There are a few things I want you to keep in mind, though. And the, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that Father's Day is not a good day for a growing number of people. Right. Yeah. In fact, this morning I just read an article called Surviving Father's Day. It was written by an a adult woman who was not raised by a good father, and that's happening more and more. Yeah. So what we, we can assume that when we talk about God as our Father, that that will immediately make people feel good. So, so this is really what I would encourage you to do as you witness. People are going to be talking about Father's Day. So you could talk about something like, as I just did, I just read this interesting article about surviving Father's Day. It made me realize that not everybody, you know, looks upon the idea of father in a good light. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing I would do is really just ask them, you know, what do you think about that? Um, you know, uh, do you know people, or how about yourself, you know, are struggling with the idea of seeing Father in a good light? And just get them talking a little bit. But then, and this is how we turn into a witnessing thing, we can say no matter how your earthly Father was, your Heavenly Father is very loving, totally loving, and so forth. And here's two passages that I would really encourage you to kind of focus in on. The first one is from Romans, Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 is this wonderful chapter in the Bible telling us all the blessings we have having God as our Father through faith. And what Paul said in Romans 8 verse 32, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? And again, as I said, this is aimed at believers. We are God's children through faith, right? Right. Right. And so, so, but you can still talk about how loving God is. You know, you can think of John three sixteen, God so loved the world. But here's the other second passage I would really encourage. It's First John three one. Again, talking to believers. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. So when we're witnessing, we can say, I'm so excited about God as my Father because this is what He has done for me through faith. Talk maybe about how we become children of God through faith, how He has adopted us, and so forth, so that we make people hungry for what we have. And that's really what we want to do many times, is make people hungry for the relationship we have with God. So hopefully you can use Father's Day to make that point. Yeah, that's great. And one of the ways that we as a ministry reach out to the LDS people is through our website, Be Perfect. And we have an article on there that's all about the parable of the prodigal son. Right. And we have a video that accompanies that, that really may be a good tool for you and maybe just give you an idea of how we use illustrations to talk about 
how God is so loving and forgiving. And that will be a good tool for you. So I'll link that here for you. Right, and, and I think we have just made this video a couple weeks ago. It seems like we're getting a lot of response to it already. Yes, yes. People seem to really um, get emotionally attached to this video and want to know more. So, so hit the link. It's only about a minute and a half, two minute video. Hit the link, watch it. i uh, love to hear your response also. Until next week then, God's blessings. Bye. Bye.